Someone is following us, and they're close. They sent a message to all of us, but not you. Yeah, it could mean that. Or it could mean something else. Are y'all serious right now? Omarion mentioned Ari, Cam, Roman, Melo, and Sarah. Mai was ready to go home. She called an Uber and left. Everybody else was still vibing, though. Her boyfriend, Omarion, said the exact same thing, word for word. Don't worry, the secret's safe with me. What secret? You know. And a Marion kid, no good. <laughs> Their fingerprints are all over the show. Really? And peep this, he already has a record. Yeah, they say she called an Uber. Wait, say what now? You heard me. They say they was all hanging out, Maya left alone, and she called an Uber. An Uber? Yep. Sounds crazy, right? I don't believe him. I just know he knows more than what he told me. Well, it ain't what we believe, it's what we can prove. True. That's why I'm hoping this search warrant I got can prove me right. It seems like Maya's phone pinged off one of his towers in the area. And Uber? No. It's more to that story that they ain't telling. Who are you said was with him? Uh, Omarion mentioned Ari, Cam, Roman, Melo, and Sarah. Hey, over here, I think I got some. Looked like somebody tried to bear somebody, but didn't finish the job. I'm telling you that a Marion kid no good. Well, this time when we bring him in, we gonna have proof and he won't be leaving. Make sure you have diagnosis run test on this. Gotcha. you run around in here or something. Oh, yeah, it's just a bad dream. You sure? Okay. Are you going to school today? No, I think I can take an extra day. Okay. Well, take as much time as you need, but how are you feeling? I'm better. I could take some extra days to clear my head. Okay. Well, I know this is difficult, and we just got to hope and pray that Maya returns home safely and soon. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, there's nothing much more we can do for Maya right now. You need to take care of yourself. And we're going to start by putting some food on your stomach. I'll go make breakfast and you rest. OK. Thank you, Mom. No problem, baby. Ben said get up. I'm up, okay? Well, it don't look like it. Now get up before mama come in here and start fussing. I do not want to hear that this Oh, God. Okay, okay. I'm up for real. What's up? Good. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. I heard about Maya. That's what they be talking about at my school. You think they gonna find her? I hope so. Look. I don't want to talk about it right now. Everybody said that her boyfriend did it. Honestly, I think he did too. I don't think she coming back. Jordan, I said get out. Hey, why you not? 
Can I just slam that door on me? And throw a pillow on me? Nah. Mama! Melo ain't got up yet! Boy, didn't I tell you to get up? Yes, ma'am, I'm up. Well, get ready! You will not have this house running behind this morning. You good? Yes, ma'am, I'm good. Heard about that missing girl at your school. That don't have nothing to do with you, right? No, ma'am, why even ask that? I'm just asking. I, I want you to stay far away from all that. I don't want you in no more trouble. I promise you, I'm not in any trouble, Mom. Good. No, I don't want you to end up like your father and your brother, dead or in jail. You are our good luck charm, you hear me? Our way out. I hear you, Mom. I hope so. You are special, Mello. I know that brain of yours is gonna take us far. If you just stay out of trouble, you hear me? Hmm. Now go on and get up and get ready. So you didn't get the sex? No. I haven't heard anything since the last test. I thought we was in the clear. Obviously not. Someone is following us, and they're close. They sent a message to all of us, but not you. Yeah, it could mean that. Or it could mean something else. Man, if you got something to say, just say it. I mean, all I'm saying is, it's just real coincidental that you had a family emergency. The body's missing, and all of us receive a text, but you. Yeah, I know you had a grandma in Florida. Are y'all serious right now? You asked. I've been worried about my grandma dying. And you trying to blame me? Man, forget y'all. Cam, wait. Why'd y'all have to say that? He asked. You know what, Roman? You've been pointing the fingers a lot lately. Blaming everyone but yourself. Blaming people? I'm not blaming anybody. Yes, you have. First it was Mello because of the plan. Now it's Cam's fault because he's trying to help his grandma who's on the verge of dying. But I get it, the guilty always speaks first. Guilty. There's only one person guilty in this room. We all know who that is. What? Wait, where's Seraph? She stay home. She hasn't been taking this very well. Nobody is taking this well. But we have to come to school so we don't look suspicious. Thank you. We don't need any extra heat on us, bro. You know, maybe we've been looking at the wrong people. Maybe Roman and Seraph is trying to set us up. <laughs> you're blaming us? You're pointing the finger at me and Seraph. When you're the whole reason that we're in this predicament to begin with. All right, what? Oh, all right, wait, wait. You're, you're leaving? Oh, all right, don't leave. Oh. All right, wait, bye. Come on, bro. Y'all better prepare to eat jail food. We shouldn't let her leave like that. Oh my God, bro. This is all falling apart.
Hey. So, how have you been? Oh, uh, good. It's good. You know, I just wanted to check on you since the whole Maya situation. Oh, uh, thanks. But don't worry, your secret's safe with me. Secret? What secret? You know. No, I don't. Well, I saw you in the principal's office, you know, with the winter formal envelopes. But don't worry, I was the one who switched them back. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, right. Forget I said anything. I'll see you around. Such a beautiful home, girl. Well, thank you, thank you. I do a little bit, just a little bit. See that study and paid off, huh? It did, it did. But I was surprised to hear from you. How long has it been? Whew, um, not that long, okay. I'm still young now, <laughs> you know. College was last year. Okay, okay. You're right, you're right. Well, can I get you something to drink or anything? No, I'm fine. Okay. Well, um, I heard that you're a big detective and I saw where you saw that cold case. I'm so proud of you. Thank you, thank you. You know, a bunch of hours, but we did it. Okay, well, what you working on now? Well, just recently, a missing case. My other bay dropped on my desk a week ago. Oh, I just really hope they find her. That's all I've been praying. Same. Yeah, it's really been taking a mental effect on the kids at the school. Sarah actually hasn't been in a couple of days. Um, is Sarah here now? Yeah, I'm um, letting her take as much time as possible. Okay. Is something wrong? Look, nothing's wrong. Is Seraph in trouble? All you need to know is that Seraph's name was brought up, okay? And I'm just here to make sure she in the clear. Look, Tori, you know we go way back, all right? I don't want you to worry until it's time to worry. That's why I'm here. Just to ask some questions. Just ask questions? Look, just questions. Nothing formal, just some, some questions. Just questions. Just questions. Okay. Just questions. Sarah, come here, baby. Hey, you call me? Yes. This is my friend Kanigra from college. Um, you may not remember, but she's who I chose to be your godmom many years ago. Ain't that many, <laughs> but look at you. You are so pretty and grown up. <laughs> Last time I saw her, she was running around in diapers. Yes. <laughs> now, she's a detective and she's working on Maya's case. Oh, but why is she here? Look, nobody's in trouble. She's just here to ask some questions, okay? Okay, but I don't think I'll be any help. It's just questions, there, okay? Okay. Tara, I actually, I think I'll take that drink now. Okay. Come on, scoot in. It's your god, mama. Don't be nervous. Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry that this happened to be a time where we talk. Maybe next time we can talk over ice cream or something. Right? Anyway, um, do you know Maya Neve? Are y'all friends? I mean, yeah. We ran in the same friend circle. Friend circle? Yeah, it's just a group of friends who all hang out with each other. Okay, so y'all were friends, so that means y'all were close? I don't know, define close. Okay, did y'all text? Did y'all hang out, talk on a regular? Yeah, we hung out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so did y'all happen to hang out the night of her disappearance? 
Look, Seraph, you're not in trouble. I'm here to help you. So the more you tell me, the more you're in the clear. So did you see Maya the night of her disappearance? Yeah, we hung out. And, and what happened? We were all at the spot. Hold on, we, who's we? Um, me, Roman, Ari, Cam, Omarion, Mello, and Maya. Okay, and? Okay, we were all hanging out, and Maya was ready to go home. So, she called an Uber and left. Everybody else was still riding, though. You know, her boyfriend, Omarion, he was questioned and said the exact same thing, word for word. Yeah, because that's the truth. Yeah, sure it is. I'm not saying that it's not. But listen, Sarah, if there's anything else that you need to tell me, now is the time for you to do so. Because after this, I won't be able to help you. So are you sure you have nothing else to tell me? Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Well, then I guess you have nothing to worry about. Hey. Girl, I actually got to head out. Where is it, so soon? Yeah, I have a case. They just put on my desk. <laughs> okay, well, did you get all the answers you needed? Hope so. Okay, let me walk you out. <laughs> Again, thanks for letting me go down memory lane with you. No problem, girl. <laughs> See, See you me. next time. Please tell me you got something for me. Hey, I got the fingerprints back from the shovel. Hi, we got some, right? Looks like we do. One of the people that was with Maya, their fingerprints are all over the shovel. Really? And peep this, he already has a record. But then I guess it's time to go pick him up then. I was thinking the same thing. Hey, right, I'll meet you in a sec. Telling you though, I had hit him with the in and out, and then I had I laid him over. He was tricky. Right? Carmelo Austin. Uh huh? You're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Wait. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford an attorney if you appoint one. You understand the rights that have been read to you. Melo, I don't want to not, not another word. I asked you if you had anything to do with this and you told me no. You lied to me. Oh, I didn't. Then why are we here? I don't know what I'm telling you. They got all of this wrong. Son, I'm doing the best I can to help you. I moved you to a different school so that you can start over and get a fresh start. And what do you do? Throw it away. You gotta believe me. I'm telling you, I got nothing to do with this. I want to believe you? I do. You know, when I first got involved with your father, people told me about the men in his family. They said, stay far away from them. Trouble follows them wherever they go. I never believed it until now. Hi, I'm Detective Washington. This is my partner. Detective Mills. Thank you for coming. Well, it didn't seem like we had much of a choice. 
So can someone tell me what we're doing down here? Well, your son is believed to be connected to the disappearance of Maya Neve. And why do you think that? Well, your son was one of the last people seen with her before she disappeared. Mello, is that true? <clears throat> Look, a couple of us hung out at the dance Friday. And Maya, she wanted to leave, so she took an Uber and left. You know what? Your friend Amaria had that exact same story, but he had a little more to tell. Did you get in that car with Maya? Oh, Amaria said that? Well, it ain't true. But you know what is true? Your fingerprints was on the shovel in the woods. Would you like to explain that? I... And how many other fingerprints was on this shovel? Just a few, but none of them that would connect us to Maya. Just your son. Hello. This isn't your first run in with the police, is it? My son has not had any charges filed against him. He is a sweet boy that's got off to a rough start, that's all. Well, recently, looks like you was involved in a robbery. Stop him! No! He just robbed us! Call the police! Call the police, please! That case is closed. The witness refused to testify, and my son was proven innocent. That witness did refuse to testify, didn't it? What was the name? Maya. to be good for the rest of that school, though. Come in. Hey. Hey. Can we talk? Yeah. Uh, first off, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Is that all? And that, uh, it was never my intention to hurt you. You know that me and Maya, uh, look, I knew Maya ever since elementary school. She was my first girlfriend. <sighs> the first girl I ever said it, the L word to. But that doesn't mean that I don't or never will love you. But. You never said those words to me. And for you to say all those things and just throw it in my face was really low down. I know. I know, and I, and I regret it, and I, I apologize for that. Uh, honestly, just because I haven't said it doesn't mean I don't plan to. When I said it, I, I want to mean it, you know? I want you to feel that. I mean it, and not just saying it because of some stupid argument. I respect that. And honestly, I'm not ready to say that word either. So we cool now? We're good. Good, because I miss you. I miss you too. You should probably go get that. Yeah, I'll be back. What is it? I don't know. Open it.
tell y'all a thing of three. It's pronounced K-N-E-G-R-A. Now subscribe. <laughs> Ooh, I cracked myself up. Thanks for watching, because watching me is better than watching TV.